Hi everyone, welcome. Welcome to my third stealth play guide and testing video. My first stealth video is about the radar size and detection range. And my second video is about the cross section detection range in different pitch angles. However, when I was making my second video, I totally forgot about my first video. And the dilemma that I had in my second video is perfectly answered by viewer AI The Vulture. He said, ship stats and hot signatures include stealth bonuses. This is exactly true because I forgot to take into account the radar sensitivity. So I am making a correction right here. And the signature that I detected, the ship, the red bird, was at 3.5 kilometers. And if you do the mass, my highest signature was IR, which is 4408 times 0 0.8. That's exactly 3526, my detection range. Same as 3819, which I was in a different pitch angle on the site, I believe. And my cross-section was the highest signature, 5174. And then take into account the radar sensitivity of 0 0.8. And I got the number 3819 was for the red bird and 4139 was for the black bird. However, the angle was not exactly 90 because in space I was doing the test. It's really, really hard to get perfectly 90 when I was moving the ship or aligned with the ship. So by his math, my angle was at 74 degrees and these number matches exactly. So the lemma solved. And this is exactly same math that we will be using in today's video. By the way, thank you so much, The Voucher. And for this video, we'll be using the Saber Comet as the test subject. And our detection ship will be a Saber Scout. I mean, uh, Drake, right? Drake Scout. Oops. <laughs> Drake's gonna be pissed. Actually, Aegis gonna be pissed. <laughs> Do not bring me to the standard of Drake. So the Drake Carter Scout has a size 2 radar. And that radar sensitivity is at 90%. If you want to know more detail about radar sensitivity and detection range, please check out my first radar video. I'm going to put a link down below. And the subject for this video is we will be testing different ways to reduce your IR and EM signature for your stealth gameplay. Simple understanding of the IR, which is infrared, is heat. Look at your computer that's been working so hard every day, maybe day and night, maybe 24-7 even, in all systems just for you to play and enjoy Star Citizen. As a result, your computer will produce heat. Same as Star Citizen spaceships, especially energy weapons. As for your EM, electromagnetic signature, which are a form of radiation emitted by electrically charged particles that's going through acceleration. And it is directly linked to your ship systems, which are powered by different components. So to reduce IR and EM, we must play around with your ship's weapons and systems, as well as finding environmental objects as covers. And now let's do a basic test on the Saber Comet. And first thing, we're going to Star Citizen ship viewers and find the Saber Comet and look over here, radar emissions. And what we need to look at is the cross section value. So front is 485, the site, which is the highest is 3880 and on the top is 3331. So bear these numbers in mind as we go through this test. All right, so here comes our first test and we're gonna do this nose to nose, not mouse to mouse, but nose to nose. So for this saber, I'm using all stock components. For the weapons, I have four size three laser repeaters. And I am not gonna turn off shield or engine or weapon. And I am not going to press the suppress overall IR. So nothing, nothing at all. Also, I have parked the ship here for at least over 20 minutes before I do this test, just to make sure that my EM, everything has been cooled down to the minimum as it can. And all systems are on, all components are working. And let's do this nose to nose. When I say nose to nose, which means the cross section is the lowest signature. As we said earlier in that website, it's about 400 something. So we don't have to worry about that. Now you can see our highest signature is the IR 4759. So this will be the determining detection signature. And this straight cutter has a size two radar. 
And according to the math that we talked about in the beginning of the video, 4759 times 0 0.9, it gives us 4283. So at about 4.2 to 4.3 kilometers, the cutter will drop lock on my ship. Let's test that. Target lock. I'm going to pull away. 3.5 kilometers, 3.7, 8.4.1. 4.2 There we go Just at the border of 4.3 The radar lock has been dropped Let's see that again So I'm gonna lock myself At 3.7 And then pull away To Pass 4.2 See at the border Of 4.3 Radar lock has been dropped this number matches our math. Now the question is how to reduce our signature. So what influence your EM most are your components and your thrusters. When I use my boost thrusters, especially afterburners, my EM goes up very high. 43, 44 now and dropping. When I stop, it will drop. When I turn off my shield, my EM dropped to 33, 100. When I turn off my weapon, my EM dropped to 24. And still dropping. If I turn off my engine. Engines offline. Ooh, that's a big drop. You can see engine affect EM a lot more than other components. Now I have my EM is lower than 500. But it does not matter. My enemies can still target me because my highest signature is still IR 4759. How do I reduce my IR? For this one, let's test the suppress IR again because some viewers said the suppress IR actually works. So in my last test, it does not, but that was a Saber Firebird. If you click heat and then here is suppress overall IR, I'm going to press it. So now my IR dropped to 38.55. Let's do the math. So 38.55 times 0 0.9, it gives us 34.69. So the cutter should lose the target lock on my saber at 3.4 to 3.5 kilometers. But I am still being target locked at 3.8 right now. I'm going to turn my engine on. Pull away. Let's see when I will drop off the enemy radar. 3.9, 4.0, 4.1, 4.2. Still 4.3. So I am not sure that suppress overall IR in reality works, or at least for this test, it does not work. So I'm just going to press the suppress overall IR again. So this is my actual IR number, which is being detected right now. So how can I do to reduce my IR? Time to switch ship. For our second test, I'm using this saber that has only one cooler, Stealth C cooler, one power plant, Stealth C, one quantum drive, and no shield generators. My weapon, still four size three laser repeaters. All right, now let's begin our second test. So one power plant, one cooler, and also turned off my energy weapon. And you can see now my IR is reduced to 4215. And 4215 times 0 0.9 is 3793. So at about 3.8 kilometers, I will lose a target lock from a size 2 radar. And if the enemy ship is using a size 1 radar, it gives us 3372. Wow. But of course, our systems are cooled as well. We don't have any shield. So we will leave ourselves very vulnerable. And this is not a Firebird. It doesn't have that speed. But for our test, we're going to use this. So let's pull away. Let's test these numbers. Target locked. Okay, 3.1, 3.2, 3.6. 3.7, 3.8, 3.9, 3.10, 3.11, 3.12, 3.13, 3.14, 3.15, 3.16, 3.17, 3.18, 3.19, 3.20, 3.21, 3.22, 
to 4071. And the IR is still the highest signature. The cross section, the highest cross section is 3880. So we still don't have to worry about the cross section. And the detection range for a size 2 radar is 36. 6.3. And for a size 1 radar, the detection range narrowed to 32.56 meters. That's incredible. But because I don't have shield, I will have less survivability. Target locked. Pull away. So I should lose target lock at 3.6 to 3.7 kilometers. That's 3.2, 3.3456. .3, yes, you can see. Before I even reach 3.7 kilometers, I lost the radar lock for the saber. So the number holds. However, you do have to balance stealth with survivability and combat effectiveness. Alright, the last test is a Daymar test. Why do I want to do it here? Because on Daymar, you can see over here, my IR slash 17, 17. This is the interference, the background noise, which will mask some of my IR signature. So according to the formula from my radar detection video, now my detection range should be 2000 meters. But this time we must consider the cross section because there is no background noise under the cross section and the cross section will be bigger than my IR. But since I'm doing the nose to nose test, so the, we can just ignore the cross section for now. And I'm going to target the ship. All right, I'm going to pull away 2.0, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4. Wow. Okay. At 2.5, I dropped off enemy radar. The number that we calculated does not match, I think, is because the ambient noise, which should take into account, but it might not work exactly the way as the way it should be. Because when I go higher, you can see my ambient noise is actually diminishing. Right now it's 1200 something, and I going down. So that's one reason. Another reason is maybe I'm still having some EM decay. Like I said, I dropped off from navigation mode to combat mode. My EM dropped from 8,000 down to 2,000 something. But in reality, maybe my components is still going through the EM decay, which takes some time. I stayed here for 20 minutes just for my components to cool down, for my EM to decay. Because earlier, I can detect the ship at over 5 kilometers. But after I waited for 20 minutes, right now I detect the ship at 2.5 kilometers. And I am using the Stealth C components. So maybe when I use the Stealth A components, the EM decay will be faster, which will be a topic for another video. So a good combat strategy is you can actually put these fighters, especially the Stealth fighters, on a carrier ship. Oh my gosh, I really wish the Kraken is here. Or the Ironclad. Or the Liberator. I can just put these fighters on those ships and carry these fighters into combat area. And then you fly those combat ships and go to do your combat without going through the quantum jump. And of course, another combat strategy is to make use of your environment. Testing on Daymar is just an example. You can use bigger ships to mask your fighter signature, or there are so many other ways, or hiding in an asteroid field, or something. All right, now let's get rid of those boring numbers. Let's do some real combat. To test the combat ability and survivability of this setup, I don't have any shield. HRT mission for this one, I do have to make a jump. As you can see, my EM goes up to almost 7,000 now. Another stealth play tactics is when you're traveling to your target location, well, you are in navigation mode. You can actually go to power and manually turn off your quantum drive, which is Atlas. But if I turn off my quantum drive, you can see my speed reduces to SCM speed while I'm in navigation mode. Okay, got contact. Our target is an Inferno. If the Inferno hit me with a size 7, I'd be dead really quick. So I have to 
take advantage of my stealthiness. I'm gonna fire my missiles. 5.4, I'm not detected yet. Okay, 3.6, fire missile. Ooh, I'll hit. Okay. Fire another four missiles. Fire. Hit, hit. Good hit. Ooh, nice. Take advantage of this. Switch into guns. Go, go, go. Quick, quick, quick. Fire, fire, fire. Oh, my gun. No, I turn off my guns. Oh, getting hit, getting hit. Okay, get out of here. All right, escape danger for now. Okay, 5.3 kilometers. Not getting targeted. Go in there really quick and get out. Lock target, fire. Ooh, get out, get out. Go, 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 get out. Okay, Inferno's heading toward me without a shield. Perfect opportunity, fire. Oh, shield is back. Okay, go, go, go. Gonna make another pass, fire. Yeah! <laughs> Killed it. Or is that a shield? This might be a little bit time consuming because you literally can just fly a Drake Corsair and kill the Inferno in 10 seconds or less than 10 seconds. But this is actually quite fun to play with stealth. So it depends on the situation, like this situation, because I'm going into doing combat. So minimum, I need to have weapons and missiles. I don't have a shield. However, if you're just using this ship for some reconnaissance mission, you really don't need the weapons or missiles. You just need one power plant and one cooler and you can do the job. You can be the stealthiest saber ever. All right, guys, I hope this video is helpful for your stealth gameplay. Leave in the comments, what is your stealthiest ship? What is your stealthiest signature? Can you beat my saber? Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.